Hello, and welcome back to another Spotlight interview. The Claim Tech business opportunity is phenomenal, and you can do so much with it. Today, I'm joined by Louise McFadden. She is the owner and CEO of MedSouth Management in Cordova, Tennessee. Louise has been in business with Claim Tech now for about two and a half years. Things are really starting to pick up for her, and she's excited to share her story with you today. Welcome, Louise. Great to have you on the call. Thank you. Good morning. First, I want to thank you for the opportunity uh, to do this spotlight uh, with you, and I appreciate the uh, opportunity. Hey, absolutely. And I know everybody that's watching this is really going to appreciate your story, um, hearing what you did prior to you know starting this business with Claim Tech, and what your journey has been like uh, throughout that time, now moving into gaining more and more clients and, and seeing that business development start to pick up. Uh, so why don't you just tell us a little bit about um, your, your life before Claim Tech and what kind of brought you uh, to the medical billing business? Well, I worked the corporate industry for uh, 30 plus years, had an opportunity to retire uh, early, and uh, I took that opportunity. Uh, prior to that, I had started um, uh, looking at different um, uh, uh, things I can do after retirement, mm -hmm. and um, I searched the internet, and I ran across some software, and that software was claim tech. And I uh, communicated back and forth with uh, you, Brian, for about maybe a year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and once I retired, uh, then I went ahead on and started my own business. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a little bit of a, you know, a time that, you know, you kind of investigated, made sure that, you know, this was the right thing that you wanted to do. Um, and then, of course, you know, when you did re, uh, retire, you had that time, um, you know, free to be able to start the business. So, you know, why don't you tell people, you know, uh, a little bit of the experience of, you know, getting started with the training is, is, you know, did you have any experience with, you know, software prior to this, medical billing in any way? You know, what was that initial training like for you to learn something like this? Brian, what I did, I stepped out on faith. I had no prior experience in the healthcare industry, uh, nor did I know anything about medical billing. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, uh, working in the corporate industry, uh, I worked in uh, numerous of, uh, departments, and this is something that, like I said, I stepped out on faith, and uh, I, I don't regret it as of today. I still enjoy it. Excellent. Excellent. Well, uh, you know, speaking as of today, um, where are you at in your business? Uh, you know, how many clients do you have right now? Uh, right now, it's, it's, it's exciting and it's, it's overwhelming. Um, uh, actually, uh, just start, just just give you a little bit of um, background. Uh, starting off, uh, you know, I did the cold calls and, and at first I was very timid about doing the cold call because there was a lot of rejection. Um, what I did, Brian, I followed the process and I continued. I made all the cold calls. I didn't get any clients from it, but what the cold calling did for me it gave me a little bit more experience and calling and it made me more comfortable. Uh, currently right now, uh, I currently have uh, four clients and I'm signing one today. Um, hey, just extremely, right. over, just, just awesome. Yeah, yes. that is fantastic. Oh, that's so wonderful. So, uh, you know, you, you mentioned that you made the cold callings. You didn't get that client from those cold calls. Uh, and I imagine that's from the list of the 300 and you know, the idea there is we always say in training, you know, those 300 are practice. It's a way to get out there, make some mistakes because you learn from them, you know, um, and, you know, and it's all process, you know, nobody becomes a pro at anything overnight. It, you know, it's, you know, a process of consistency. Um, so what was it then that changed as you started to gain some more confidence? Uh, you had made work through those first 300 uh, cold calls. Uh, what was it there that you did? Uh, you felt like you kind of started to feel the tides shifting and you were able to get that first client signed up. Why don't you, you know, tell people a little bit about that process that, that you experienced? Sure. Uh, the first client was a home health uh, uh, company, uh, uh, non-medical, um, and uh, they, they were my first client. Uh, didn't get a whole lot of uh, experience, but what it did do was it, it helped me for to have experience with the other clients. Uh, the second client I uh, got was uh, through uh, lead 
one of the lead programs that you all recommend, just recommended. Um, that first client was a counselor, uh, individual counselor. Um, and the second client was actually was phenomenal. Uh, it was um, because I felt more comfortable when I met with them. Uh, you know, no referral. Uh, you have to uh, not be afraid to let people know that you're here. Right. Uh, and then uh, that client uh, uh, was a psychiatrist group. Uh, and uh, the after that, all in, it happened so fast. Uh, then the next client, uh, Brian, was a wellness center, uh, which have, you know, processed over a thousand clients, claims a month. Mm. And uh, I was very excited. And I've extended a contract. I've got a contract. We're going to complete it today. And it's for a dermatologist group. Excellent. And, uh, they are excited uh, because, you know, you have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be consistent. You have to let them know that you're there. And um, and what the training tools that Claim Tech uh, provided uh, was impeccable. Uh, it gives you from start to finish. If you're a new business owner, it provides you with all uh, the letters and everything that's already um, there in the package. All you have to do is just word it uh, to, to for it to be comfortable for you. Right. Yes. Yeah, because we always say that a little bit too. Like you know, we provide uh, you know the the structure, but you know you want to personalize it a little bit because the more honest you are the more this stuff comes from from the heart you know we're wanting to help people solve their problems you know so that way we can improve the quality of care it's all about you know improving outcomes for people and for practices right um so the more it can come out of you naturally you know because it sounds like you because you know you 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 kind of customized it a little bit um, from the stock information and then, you know, practicing it and going through it and reviewing it and just refining it and improving it. And, you know, if it's not working one way, kind of just asking, hey, is there something I could change about this just a little bit, maybe get a better, uh, better outcome or, or response from that. Um, so it's great because, you know, you've kind of let people know there was a couple different ways that you acquired these different types of doctors, you know, just by implementing different um, uh, sides to the marketing campaign, you know, that we lead you to. So that's great because it means that you've really rounded things out uh, and you're finding doctors from all different, you know, types of resources. Yes. You know? So that's wonderful. Um, in working with some of these, you know, uh, accounts now, you're kind of working around. You, you don't have two of the same type yes. of providers. Right. So Correct. you're learning how to do billing for different types of doctors. Uh, how, how do you feel that your know, claim tech has helped you to understand? I mean, what's the difference between billing for that psychologist compared to billing for the wellness center compared to now, you know, getting ready to bill for a dermatologist? You know, I was a little uh, 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 concerned not knowing the support It's the support uh, team. It's unbelievable. And, you know, I want to call out Sarah Hart. Uh, Sarah Hart, she and I, uh, we, we, we meet weekly, maybe two to three times a week, uh, just to, um, for her to explain different things, you know, to me. And, and she makes me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, if it's something that I do, do not understand, uh, she uh, walked me through it. And not only Sarah, you know, there's been, you know, uh, Raji, you know, uh, Nazar, you know, when I need something I, and it's something that I'm not clear on, I, I send them an email and they respond within 24 hours. That would, that would make things easier for you right. when you have questions or something that you does not understand and you get a quick response, yeah. less than maybe a few hours, I get the response back. It makes a big difference, right? Big you, difference. Know, you know, you know, there's, you know, people there looking out, you know, we're, we're, you know, 
Well, that support system, you know, that's what people need, especially when you're new, especially when, you know, you, you have, you know, confidence issues because it hasn't been proven to you yet, you know, yeah. to know that people are there backing you up, providing you that those details so that you can go back and provide an answer with confidence. Um, Cause that's part of the business as well. You know, you got to exude that confidence because doctors have to have confidence in, you know, you, so you have to have confidence in yourself. Right. And it's one person that I left off. I left off Brian Weaver. Uh, Brian <laughs> Weaver, and you and I were in constant communication prior to uh, me purchasing the software. Uh, you made me comfortable and, you know, and you, you work things out, uh, you know. So I, I definitely want to uh, thank you as well with the other staff. Um, it's, you know, we're trending, uh, Mid-South is trending the, rest, the right direction. Yeah. And uh, I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Yeah, I'm oh, excited for you, you know, yes. and just know, knowing that it's like it's it just kind of works out one of those ways where it's like, oh, OK, well, you know, let's you know do that spotlight next week. You know, you're getting things going and, you know, it's like, oh, I thought you had four today. You're like, no, I'm signing my fifth today, yes. you know, so <laughs> it's just wonderful to see it, you know, and it, it is it is kind of like a snowball effect. Right. Once that snowball gets rolling down the hill, it gets hard to stop because people lead to people, you know, and one doctor might say, oh, you know. Louise has been a saving grace for me. And they're like, oh, who's that? What does she do for you? Can, can I get her contact information, right? So you start to see some, you know, referral uh, relationships will start to develop, you know, for you as well. Uh, and just to go back to that, I know, um, you know, on these spotlights, uh, you know, people hear Sarah's a lot. Uh, and one of the reasons, guys, is because she is our lead onboarding specialist, which means when you are going live with your first, second, third, fourth, fifth account, you have one, you know, you have somebody there that's going through that entire process. Um, you know, you've already been trained on it, right? You get when you get your certification, you learn how to set up a practice, you learn how to do the billing. Yes. But having that person when you're actually going live, it's kind of like having a your college professor come in when you get hired at your job for the first yes. time, you know, and they help you to do it. So you'd make it, um, you do it the right way the first time. Right. Correct. So, yes. um, so that's one of the things I just wanted to let everybody know, because people do say, Oh my gosh, she is just so wonderful. But like, why don't I hear other people's names though, as well? So, you know, you definitely spread it around to some other individuals that are on the uh, support staff here, but that is one of the reasons why, you know, Sarah's name comes up is because that person that helps you when you go live, that's when you're the most nervous, you know, you're starting that job for the first time. So I want to make sure you have that support. Yes. Yes. You know, um, so when, um, um, when you went through your training process, you know, you had mentioned that you were just going into retirement. Um, how, you know, how did you go about your training? Was it something where you wanted to get it done as fast as possible? Or you kind of took your time just, you know, going through it slowly? What was your kind of experience in that process? How many months do you think it took you to, to complete that training before you started to get out there and make some calls? I took my time with the training. Um, uh, I did the, uh, of course, the med office first, and then I did dental. I kind of uh, uh, put some time between the dental, uh, you know, so that I wanted to make sure that I comprehended the medical, uh, and, and the instructors, the instructors also, they were great. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of put a little time between the, the dental and the medical for me, that worked for me. Yeah. And you know, that's, that's the nice part of having that flexibility. You know, you, you can do things at your own time and pace. So it is really something that is flexible that you can work around, you know, what you're currently doing and you can take it faster if you want, or you can take it slower, you know, if you want. So on the average, it took, I want to say about four months. For about me. four months for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Very good. Um, now as, um, Getting out there, you know, I know that you mentioned uh, in the beginning, it was, you know, you, you didn't know everything. So you didn't necessarily have all of the confidence. What would you say was probably one of your biggest challenges that you faced and, and how did you overcome that? Here's, here's what we, you're going to face new, new uh, licensee. You're going to face challenges getting past the gatekeeper. You're going to have to Continue to send correspondence in the mail, brochure, drop your cards off. You got to be consistent because if not, you're going you're gonna to run across some gatekeepers going to take your information and, and throw it in the trash when you walk out the door. You have to be consistent. You got to continue to call back, 
let them know that you're available, you know, and that um, you um, provide impeccable service. Mm -hmm. uh, with me, I was very consistent. I was very persistent by continuing to not harass them, but let them know, hey, if you give me a shot, you know, you won't regret it. Right. So, you know, uh, I was given a shot, like I said, with one of the biggest group. Uh, this is a large group here in, in uh, um, Cordova. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just very thankful. And uh, things is, 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 is great. It's one, it was working out very well. Excellent. So, you know, yeah. And, you know, like you said, uh, consistency is the key. You know, it is. It's the key to mastery. Um, and it's, you know, and persistence. Um, but again, not being overbearing. I, lo I love the way that you put that. You know, you just wanted to let them know that you were there. You know, you were a helping hand stretched out. If somebody has a problem, you know, you've got solutions and you can put your head together with your team to, to look to solve them. So that's really what it's a lot, uh, you know, really about for most of the time. It's we're looking for those that are looking. You know, we're looking for those that might have too many burdens on their shoulders and they're looking for a little help, you know, so they can um, focus on what they're there to do, which is patient care. Yes. You know? yes. Um, if you could wind the clock back, and I believe I might know the answer to this, but if you could wind the clock back and you would start looking at retirement all over again, would you make the same decision? Without a doubt. I'm excited. Um, um, once you learn what the doctors and practice are looking for, it becomes easier. Right. And one thing you you always want to let the practice and the, and the doctors know, I, I'm supported by a team that have 28 years of experience. It's something about uh, letting them know I'm new, but I, I have the backing and I have the support of a team that has 28 years or more in experience. So it's yep. important to let them know that that's very important. I agree 100%, honesty and integrity. You know, these are the things that you lead with in business if you wanna develop really good relationships. And there's nothing wrong with telling somebody, hey, I'm new at this, but I've invested with an organization, you know, and, and we're almost 30 years in business now, you know, with, with a business that's been doing this for nearly three decades. They've helped tens of thousands of offices. I've been taught and trained a specific, you know, uh, process uh, for maximizing revenue and increasing that practice profitability by an average of 20%. And no, I'm new. I am driven and I am motivated to make a difference in your life and in your practice, because the only way I can succeed in my business, if I help you succeed in yours. And that's what we're talking to doctors about all the time. And that's really, that's excellent. Yep. That's really the focus. Um, so what is your favorite thing about running the, the, your medical billing company, you know, Med South management now, what is your favorite part about being an entrepreneur? The favorite thing, one of my favorite thing is uh, seeing the posting the payments. When the payments come in and uh, the practice and the doctors is over, you know, just excited mm -hmm. to see the turnaround, the time frame, and providing them with the correct data reports and, you know, um, um, seeing the numbers, seeing doctors that are not getting paid get paid. Uh, so that's one of the things I enjoy the most. I can believe that. I can yes. believe that. Yeah. I mean, when you, when you're showing a doctor, oh, Hey, you know, we just collected, uh, you know, 13,000 for you that you thought you had lost, you know, here it is. And you see that look on their face, that appreciation and gratitude from them, yes. it fills you up, you know? And uh, so, yeah. Um, so, you know, so greatly appreciate your time here uh, today, Louise. And, um, one last thing, what would you want to tell somebody looking into this business or, you know, somebody just getting started with claim tech or maybe somebody that, you know, might be struggling a little bit to get, you know, an account? Um, what advice would you provide to, to those individuals? I would say go through your materials. Be very familiar with your materials. Don't stop. Be consistent. They're going to come. They are coming. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, Louise. So anything else that you might want to share with the field 
at this time. What are your goals for the future? Where would you like to see MedSouth management be a year or two from now? My goal was to have 10 clients, but I'm already halfway there. So uh, uh, I anticipated, uh, I'm anticipating um, being one of the largest uh, medical billing company practice here um, in the Tennessee uh, region. Excellent. So retirement's really off the table now. You you want to build this thing up now? I'm going to do it now <laughs> that I now that I um, understand it and know the process. I look forward to the challenge. There you go. Now it's just a matter of duplication and scalability, right? Correct. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Well, maybe we'll do another one in a year or two. We'll see where you're at. And then that way we can give everybody an update. Um, so I greatly appreciate your time today, your feedback. I'm sure everybody that's watching this, um, you know, has um, greatly appreciated your time as well. And I just say, you know, keep up the good work. You're doing great out there. Thank you for having me. Hey, you got it, Louise. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.